year, a small Montreal company called GFA Pyro exploded onto the international scene. <laughs> Raised hell in Spain. Whoa, whoa. Styrofoam plus fire. Blew the roof off in Mexico. <laughs> and blew their minds in Korea. All the hard work and sweat finally paid off. Their boss, Mode Furtado, pushed them hard. In this business, you have to be aggressive. You always have to look forward. I don't hear the music. You need to take some risk. But that was just round one. Watch out! This year starts with GFA's biggest challenge ever. I want to officially announce that uh, we got the contract for Ottawa, 1st of July. Yeah! It was a big deal for GFA to get that contract. It's prestigious, it's the biggest in Canada. <laughs> it's a good place to be. Canada Day on Parliament Hill means GFA is going to play to the biggest home crowd a pyro company could ever hope for. Now, the team has just 36 hours to set up the show of a lifetime. On a riverbank near Parliament Hill. Uh, in the Pian Point, the park we're shooting from. It's a nice peninsula, but uh, a lot of restrictions, a lot of danger zones around us. There's a bridge right underneath our site. We're really shooting literally over the bridge right in front of the parliament on the other side of here is where uh, they have the big stage show when the concerts finish it goes right away to the fireworks the real reason we got that contract was because of eric he worked very hard to get that show eric cardinal is one of gfa's owners and he spearheads most of its shows from design to detonation that was module 11 by the way Eric has been doing that since he was a kid. I definitely remember convincing my friends to give me their little models to blow them up with firecrackers. <laughs> Eric's shooting a lot higher these days. Today, he has to launch over 2,000 shells high enough to explode above the Peace Tower, 90 meters high. And that means heavy artillery. The big guns. We like the big guns. More large caliber shells. It's very much a high level aerial show. It is a really heavy gauge. As solid as they get. Very heavy for the pyros to handle, though. Eric's wingman, Philippe Girard, is GFA's star technician. Philippe is the guy, actually. You want something done, he'll get it done. All right, guys. Definitely a trail seeker. If it's too quiet, he's not going to have fun. Oh, look out. He's definitely a, an adrenaline junkie. Assisting Philippe, pyrotech Stephanie Sanchez. Stephanie Sanchez has uh, been doing fireworks for uh, almost 10 years. She's a hard worker. <sighs> many, many, many people were looking forward to that show. We feel pressure. It's fun. I don't have to go to the gym. There's the sand. There's muscles right there. They're super sexy me. It's like the beach. <laughs> it's very fun working with Phil. He's funny, he's confident, he's an excellent guy. <laughs> well, sometimes I can use a little bit of help. Yeah, OK, go get me a coffee, I'll do it. <laughs> we tease each other, you know. My theory is if she's on site, she needs to be able to do everything. And she does it, actually. <laughs> we had almost 70 big caliber from 8 inch to 12 inch to dig into big uh, 45 uh, gallon drums and uh, fill them up with sand. 
My favorite part. The tubes need to be angled okay. 10 degrees off the vertical. It doesn't have to be that precise, but approximately 10 degrees. If any of Eric's big shells explode before reaching full altitude, they could start fires or smash through the glass walls of the National Gallery, or even set off more shells. So Philippe and his crew angle the mortars to fire out over the river. It's a minefield. Everybody's concerned about the museum here. It's made out of glass. No, f up, this show is not an option. Strategy with this uh, trailer is uh, actually we're going to build a wall. If we get any uh, low break or blast, the trailer is protecting the museum. It should be it. We end all our mortar towards the river. But you know, if a shell uh, explodes on that, I cannot do anything. A truckload of bombs rolls in from the warehouse. Close to a thousand kilos net uh, explosive. We're loading a lot of shells today. This is the critical phase. And it's one enormous jigsaw puzzle. It doesn't happen by accident, you know. You can't just take a firewood shell and drop it anywhere and plug it in anywhere, because then you'll just have a completely messed up show. Yep. No? Yep. Good, good, good. Four hours into loading, something doesn't feel right. You see, this is all set up wrong. Everything's set up wrong here. I loaded what's supposed to be in this module over there. What's the word? We assume that everybody knows what they're doing. 18 racks have been loaded uh, in the wrong position. So uh, everything has to come out of there. Uh, uh, we have to redo uh, those position again. I had to pull the shells out. Maybe we should just cut everything, take the igniters out, start all over again. One line, bomb drop, connect. That's what I think. Somebody misread the plan. It's annoying. Actually, me and Julien f***ed up. So we put it there instead of here. But uh, it makes a lot of people pissed. Now you have to disconnect the van. And I'm pretty disappointed too. You've got a plan, read it. Now break shells apart. Makes me really f***ing happy. They've already attached the squibs, or electric igniters. Pulling them out of the shells now is dangerous. I mean, friction can set them off. You have to be very, very, very careful. You disconnect the fuse, and then very slowly, you take the bomb, and you place it in the right mortar. There, you're supposed to load them in, then squib them, and leave them alone until they're fired. I hope my colleague won't hate me for too long. Eric and his GFA pyros have been set back by a rookie mistake on their most important show ever. Ah. And tempers are on a boil. I hope my colleague won't hate me for too long. Hey, the back door is opening. They're dropping. 
There you go. Definitely, uh, you know that we're at the right place in Canada to celebrate Canada Day. Stephanie's screw-up has set the team back an hour. Now they're counting on one of the veterans to make up for lost time. I had good people on my side. One of them was uh, Benoit Leroux. Big Ben is a really strong man. I thought I was, but uh, definitely not, uh, not enough. <laughs> the team has a second job tonight. There's a concert just before Eric's big fireworks show, and GFA has to fire the onstage pyro. I don't know how many there are in the band and where they're going to be positioned. Eric deputizes Big Ben to handle that job. Uh, looks like you're all set. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, I'm not too far. Eric had to be at the main board for the firing of the show. So that's why he delegated the stage show to Big yeah. Ben. Going to the stage to do the barrels, the band Feist for tonight. Bonjour, GFA. We're gonna climb on the rooftop of this trailer to put some effects. Two semicircular vipers are going to strafe the sky with dozens of one-shot comets. 91 shots in 18 seconds. I will have a shot like another and on the other side, it's the um, reflection. It will be like, fuck, fuck. It's a perimeter of security for uh, the fireworks if something happens. Tonight is the nation's there's one. And Eric's most important show. Four, five, six. The last shells to load are the biggest bombs. The way I think it'll be best to do this work on one shell and go connect it right away on the module. Shell, connect, shell, connect, OK? Most shells can be lowered by their fuses not these monsters. Some of these shells weigh like 13 kilograms. Lower these by their fuses and you'll tear them out. And the bomb will drop a meter and a half. So what we do, we have this rope attached to the top of the shell and we load it carefully into the bottom of the mortar by the rope. You bring it to the top and you drop it slowly with its string. I don't want to stick my hand in. It's just not safe to do, really. You see how he blows in the sky? Imagine if it blows there and my arm is there. And part of my face. It's not a good feeling at all. That's why I use my left hand. Because I'm a righty. <laughs> I guess I'm using both hands. So I guess I'm going to be, I'm going to be armless. <laughs> Uh, help me. <laughs> you have to be alert to the different sounds, uh, the sound of a uh, faulty firework exploding. Oh, f The cannons. You scared the shit out of me. Since they warn everybody about the fireworks, nobody's warning us about the guns. Jeez. Eric has some jet fuel competition for aerial supremacy. I think my fireworks are faster than that, though. <laughs> 100 feet a second, I don't think it was going that fast. Now uh, well, we're uh, getting uh, ready to test the Canada Day fireworks. We're going to connect all the mains. I got four lines of three modules each, 12 modules total. We're going for e-match test. 
Parliament Hill, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on me to make it happen, make it happen perfectly. This is the most watched show, fireworks show in Canada. So we want to do it well. There's about 360 cues on this show. Our system tells us if everything's connected properly by sending it just a tiny little current and testing what we call continuity. So it checks if the electricity really goes through the circuit. If we have some failure, that means we have to go back on site and uh, find the problem, change igniters, retest until uh, everything uh, goes 100%. It's kind of that moment. Is it going to be a mess? 100% all the way. The 100% uh, first shot. This is really rare. We're happy. That means our work is done. All right, boys, we have a fireworks show. Ready to shoot. In less than two hours, Eric faces his Canada Day trial by fire. Pyros take their positions. Philippe is on the roof of the National Gallery to do fire patrol. Just making sure uh, we didn't burn that building. And that was our main concern. If uh, there's fallout, it should be that way. Laura and Stephanie station themselves on the Alexandra Bridge to watch for fallout. All right, 10-4, Laura, thanks. Everybody's in place, everything seems to be a go. The test shells were not firing after all because the winds are not that strong. I'm anxious, I'm uh, quite excited, really, almost nervous. Hundreds of thousands are here. There's maybe a quarter million people out there. We definitely have a lot of pressure. We close the, the party. It has to be big, it has to be perfect. The concert gets underway. But on Nepean Point, a kilometer downstream, Eric and Philippe have no idea what's happening. Couldn't hear the concert. Nothing. Big Ben will fire his vipers at the end of the concert. So I'm not hearing the show. I don't know what's going on, so it's a little uh, nerve-wracking. I'm waiting for a call on my radio. We had planned that I was going to receive a go for the fireworks show exactly at a certain moment. Ready, ready, ready! Give me the go. A lot of big caliber shells. We're going to end the stage show. On the Parliament Hill, apparently there was a problem in communications. Hello. Everybody's in position. Everybody's ready. Eric is only hearing static. Big Ben fires his semicircular vipers to nail the end of the concert. The stage show is over. But Eric is in the dark. I want to hear uh, fire, go, 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 fireworks. OK, two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes. Then. Uh, do we have a green light for that test shell? We're not test shelling. No test shells. We don't want any confusion before the start of a show. One minute, five minutes. Five? Five? Five. 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 Confusion on the brink of the most important show in GFA's history. Ten, nine, eight, seven, then, ten, without warning, five. it's a go. Philippe's big show to cap off Canada Day in Ottawa is seconds away. There's maybe a quarter million people out there. We definitely have a lot of pressure. We close the, the party. It has to be big, it has to be perfect. The single most significant night in GFA's history has just gone from no word. I don't know what's going on. I'm not hearing the show. To game on. Bye. 
It's a powerful opening. cannons lob the show's biggest shells to frame the peace tower. Ah, the crowd! They like the willow to multicolor. <laughs> this is the reward, definitely when you can hear the crowd. This is the best satisfaction you can ever get. We're happy, we're happy. concept was elaborate, and the risk of something going wrong is also higher. Cake's going off soon. <laughs> you love it! Eric designed a show with high-altitude shells, and it worked. The show is huge. <laughs> That's a 12 inch. That's a 12 inch. And it's loud. And it's playing out just as he'd hoped it would. It's a great feeling to finally pull this show off. It's quite a relief. That's not a thing to worry about here. The GFA Pyros have nailed their most important gig. So this is it. That's a show. Thank you very much. It's finished. To have done that big show on Canada Day, it's a boost. It was good, huh? It was strong, man, the big show. It has proven to the rest of the world. <laughs> what a feeling. In case anyone has any doubt. I feel like more nervous than at the start of the show. My heart's pounding. The sky is the limit. <laughs> that whole shooting booths were really literally shaking. Happy birthday, Canada! A national triumph in front of the home crowd. But the Pyros won't have time to celebrate. The big boss has a European road trip planned. It's dangerous, it's dangerous. That will leave them shaken. And humble. Europe's been a battleground for pyro war for centuries. Here, on the Greek island of Chios, villagers cover their homes in wire mesh and brace for an onslaught of 50,000 homemade rockets. The Rocket War is a festival that dates back 200 years. When members of rival churches tried to hit each other's bell tower. There's a similar old rivalry going on in the remote fields of southern Italy. Italia, uno! 
It's an annual battle fought with huge handmade firework shells. In a feud that goes back generations. It's a secret world few see. But a member of one of the feuding families, Michele Brucella, has invited Mode, Seb, and Philippe for a peek inside his family's operation and onto the front lines of the annual war. Hola. Muy bien, ¿tú? Kelly fired two years ago in uh, Quebec, and that's how uh, they met uh, Mode. <laughs> Michele invite us to help his crew to set up his show. Sí, es Sebastián. Encantado. It was a real honor. It's a chance to learn, even for Sebastián Hua, GFA's technical whiz. I think it's a continuity problem we have here. Okay, retest. Okay. And that's kept Sebastián on the road a lot. I have a, a small. Uh, a small welder. Hello, <laughs> Azel. Je t'aime, mon amour. Now this family man has a brand new daughter. A my new little girl. Her name is uh, Zora. She's a beautiful. Yeah. I'm in love again. <laughs> I love my family. Love my job. I just need to, to try to to share my time, you know, to uh, make everybody happy. <laughs> but I need, to, I need to be happy too. Eh? Pyro has lured Seb away <laughs> from his family again. Bruxella, Italia. This factory has 100 years. Oh, look at that. Wow. We're in the Bucellas factory. This is crazy. This amazing and very old factory, actually. It's, it looks like nothing, <laughs> but there's magic happening inside there. I mean, it's all family. This is his father. his <laughs> fratello. Ah, and, and the uncle. Lui mio cugino. Ah, your cousin. It's the family working all together. No, this is passion, man. Every piece of ingredient that they're using, they've been using it for decades and decades. And they don't want to change absolutely anything because everything is about tradition and respecting the tradition. There's only a, you know, a handful of people that are able to build those kind of shells. It's kind of speechless. I'm just <laughs> under the shock. <laughs> this is a shell, man. This is a bomba de tiro. It's the shock and awe weapon in the arsenal. Not just one bomb. It's a tower of multi-break shells. A single bomba de tiro plays out as a whole series of explosions in the sky. As it goes, each stage lights the next one's fuse. If any link inside of it fails, what's left crashes down to Earth. The big cylindrical shells, most of those shells weigh almost 40 kilos. Yeah, that's a lot of powder, right? When you think of the quantity of black powder that is inside, is scary. That's don't, 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 yeah, don't do it. No. I don't want to drop it. We're going to go with this. The, the, old, the old man says. These shells are only made here. They're so powerful, they aren't even authorized for sale or use outside of Italy. With all this explosive inside, you have to make sure this goes up. Because if it blows on the ground, it makes a nuclear bomb. It's just going to destroy everything. Like, it's deadly. <laughs> Michele and the Pyros hit the firing site, loaded with hundreds of steel mortar tubes. The war starts tomorrow. The madness will happen here, in the middle of nowhere. This is called Gabi. It's a support. We're going to put some tube into it. These are actually made for the big, big, big shells that we saw earlier. 
There's a lot of guns. Uh, I've been told around 3,000 and 3,000 of the Chinese shell is one thing, 3,000 of Italian shell is another world. Diciamo, per me, per me personalmente è importante proprio perché eh, è una tradizione che io siamo la quarta generazione, quindi io ci tengo a farla anche se è abbastanza faticosa. It's a garbage can. <laughs> It's a mortar rub of 400 millimeters. This is huge, man. The hugest uh, mortar I ever seen. In Italy, we were there to help, but the Italian, they were so... How can I put this? Anybody that is not Italian, you see? You were kind of considered as a tourist. I do this job uh, 13 years now. It's not my first time, you know? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You are in a field and uh, you feel like a, a nobody. They don't want to show you how to do, you know, it's... You're only a technician from uh, from Canada, or you're nothing. You feel like crap all the time, but you need to win the respect. And this is the challenge. The battles start tomorrow afternoon. If Mode, Seb, and Philippe can't prove their worth before then, they'll be stuck on the sidelines. Mode and her boys are deep in the south of Italy, embedded with one of the oldest pyro families in the region. That's a lot of powder, right? <laughs> a quiet vineyard has been turned into a launch site. Now, the rival families load up for a battle. This is the day of the big show. There's a lot of matching to do, a lot of big guns, a lot of everything. It's about pride, but it's also about business. Vengono tutte le altre organizzazioni eh, di, di manifestazioni, paesi mitrofi e di, di fuori, per noi anche come una, una nostra pubblicità, far vedere il nostro, nostro saper fare per, per fare altri anche contratti di lavoro. GFA is eager to pitch in. But it's not that easy to join the family. We tried to explain to them that we know how to load shells. We loaded millions in our lives, but forget about it. If you didn't do it exactly the way they would do it... Can I drop them or no? They would not let you do it. No? No, 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 I mean, no choice. You had to adapt yourself to the situation. Can I drop them or no? Let's go. This is uh, unusual for us. We load a shell surrounded by general public. Sometime at two feet from us. This is crazy. They have good reason to worry. At last year's festival, a massive Stutata shell blew up on the ground and set off an apocalyptic chain reaction of explosions. And when they came to see the site afterwards, I mean, there was nothing left. No tube, nothing, no racks. Everything had vanished, disappeared. There was a hole in the ground as big as, I don't know, but huge. Even worse. The rivalry is so bitter, none of the Italian pyros believe it was an accident. It's a kind of sabotage, you know. You know, south of Italy, it's known for, uh, for, for Cosa Nostra. In the past, it happens that they had some sabotage from other company, not other company, people that went on site and just, they dropped Lampi, which is a small salute at the bottom of the, the tube. When the lift charge goes off, the added shell would explode too. That would ignite the main shell right in the mortar. If you do that, that means that you break the lift charge and you made the shell explode in the tube, and that, that's, that's very dangerous. 
It's not only rumor about side of Italy. Here, competition is hard and uh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's supposed to be a friendly competition. We're in Italy. <laughs> you have different companies from the same area showing what they can do. Put that in a mixer with fireworks ego. <laughs> Have you seen The Godfather? We don't, <laughs> we don't want to talk too much. <laughs> By afternoon, Michele trusts Philippe and Sebastian enough to load the big shells. 400 millimeter, man. It weighed like 50 kilos. Okay. I dropped the shell with the rope, and I just don't want to see the rope break in my hand, you know? <laughs> That's mean it's done for you. <laughs> when you need three people to load one shell. <laughs> That's mean it's big. Oh. Of course, loading that 400 shell is, is a little moment for me. The mortar is so big, man, we could put more than. <laughs> And you want to go back to Canada quickly? <laughs> There'll be no waiting for darkness with this show. When you see everyone walks away and the trucks being moved, it's time to walk away. We're about to witness amazing, crazy, powerful fireworks. I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm uh, too close. It's gonna be powerful, it's gonna be uh, awesome. Uh, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> we were stressed because we knew something big was about to happen, right? The moment the Italian pyros step off the field. The first of the five families sends up its best. Each clan trying to outdo the other. Then it's the Brucella family's turn. Daytime fireworks are not made for colors. It's a sound experience. The explosions are so loud, you just have all your chest compressed. It's really powerful. Okay, okay. You feel the vibration. You cannot not be affected. <laughs> it's very like. the moment they've come all this way for. Their first Bomba de Tiro. You can see the big shell goes. Big Italian sausage spinning like this, and then there's a part that attached. Boom! <laughs> and you can see spread many, many little fireworks. Like, rah! And again, do 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 And again, do 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 When the last salutes explode close to the ground, you cannot see it, you just feel it. The line just boom. When it's done, Michele Bucella's show has conquered everybody.
I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh man, I'm so shaking. It's like it's the vibration that goes through the ground, through your body, in your heart, in your lungs, everywhere. It's. Whew, whew. They'll have no time to catch their breath. <sighs> Tonight, Mode, Sebastian, and Philippe. <laughs> are going to see what the biggest handmade Italian shells can do in the night sky. That wasn't one shell. Michele Bruccella's gigantic daytime fireworks brought them to their knees. But now... Daytime and nighttime fireworks are two separate worlds. Daytime pyro is an assault on the ears. Nighttime is a feast for the eyes. The pyros are going to see these handmade monsters light up right overhead. We have a special uh, permission tonight to stay uh, with the Michele during the, the firing. We're going to be super close. We know that we're going to be on our ass tonight. I need to experience the Italian way, so I'll do it. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll pray. <laughs> uh, ready to run. <laughs> and then it starts. It's so dense, it's so powerful. Ah. The colors was so bright. Then, the Stutata shells, the ghosts of the night. The sky was gold, entire gold. It's easy to launch 50 shells and cover the sky, right? To throw one big shell and cover the sky, that, that's a real challenge. The blast radius of a regular shell can only get so big before it fades. The trick of the Stutata is it explodes twice. <laughs> One big shell will split into many, many little ones without colors yet. So this is gonna spread in the sky and will go all, all at the same time. One shell will cover the sky. I wasn't one shell. It's not about piling up colors to make a big general impression. It's about appreciating each shell one at a time. The Italian pyro philosophy built a beautiful shell. Take your time. But your shell needs to kick some ass. My body has produced uh, heat or whatever. Tonight, I, I saw a show like never before. It's amazing. It's I mean, you enter the shell. It, wah, wah. This guy is an artist. It's, it's mind-blowing, this thing. <laughs> when you get your hands dirty with someone, you get closer. Estoy contenta de conocer. Thank you. <laughs> GFA's trip to Italy has turned out to be a rite of passage. Mi hanno aiutato anche perché sanno fare anche loro il loro lavoro e credo che basta un po' di tempo che impareranno ancora meglio a capire il sistema. At the end, I think we got the respect. Yeah, it's emotional. There's one place in the world that takes place, and I was there. And that's for me, that's magic. Next time on Pyros. Watch for snakes. 
the boys storm the Congo. A lot of people that doesn't know about fireworks. You haven't been to Congo before. They want fireworks display. I'm not going to jail because we don't shoot a show. And fight to fire a show. While all hell breaks loose around them. Oh. Give it to insanity! 